Okay, do you buy greetings cards? Uh, sometimes. How often? When the need arises. What is your overall view about buying greetings cards? I think it's a good idea rather than uh, I don't like the e cards because they're basically you just delete it and that's it. What do you think about Hallmarks cards? They do have good designs and they are consistent and they also have a wide range. What are the pros and cons of buying greeting cards? Uh, the pros is that um, the receiver have a choice to keep them or not. Um, the cons probably be the cost and also the uh, delay in uh, um, the receiver getting them. Okay. What factors would discourage you from buying greeting cards? Oh, the previous thing. Uh, cost, um, design, uh, the range, which is not a problem with Hallmark because they cover quite a wide range, and um, also the uh, availability, like, um, or How do we get to the shop? Sometimes we're a bit too lazy to get to the shop. Yeah. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how do you rate Hallmark cards? Seven. Why? Why seven? Why high? Yeah, why seven? You know, would it be would it be eight if it were something, or would it be six if it were something else? Uh, seven is probably just the the score I give to a good car. That's it. That's basically just okay. um, uh, if it's any like some of the car with uh, bad contents or something like that, I would give, give them a three or four. And or if the price was higher, I would give them a bit less. And there's uh, some um, uh, homemade car that's uh, or like a um, uh, small volume car that made by charities that sell for a lower price. I do support them as well sometimes, but uh, overall, homemade we got the quality that I want. How do you motivate your children to give cards for family members or friends in special occasions? If you do, uh, at the moment not yet because they're too young, but. Um, when they're a bit older, I probably encourage them to get the cars at least for the special occasion, like uh, maybe weddings or 18th birthday, rather than um, just the um, probably not every birthday, but maybe the 18th or the uh, 25th or 21st and 30th, 40th, and stuff like that. Do your children like to look at cards when they go shopping with you? Um, well, no, they can barely read now, so um, the cards are not an issue yet. Yeah, but uh, they do like to read through the cards that, uh, that they receive themselves uh, because they like the personal message on it. And is there a particular way they like their cards to be? Colourful. What do you normally look for when buying cards? Price? Content? Uh, they're more like just the design. Uh, price, they're normally very similar uh, in terms of commercial uh, available car. So, um, not much the difference in price um, uh, to distinguish from one, or one from another. But the content is the one. Why is that important? Well, to show that you care. Why do you think so? That's not the question. <laughs> uh, well, because the recipient want to feel that you actually uh, make a conscious decision to look for such uh, thoughtfulness in the content. In terms of buying Hallmark cards, do you expect the cards to be better? Uh, yes, it has to be because uh, if it's not better, then it's not Hallmark, is it? Why do you think that is important? Well, 
I have to keep the uh, quality up because uh, if they don't, they will lose market um, uh, coverage. I don't know. Done. <laughs> You're a free man. <laughs> Bloody stupid questions.